Reinforcements are on the way. What does it mean for the Bengals defensive line ahead of a showdown with Derrick Henry and Lamar Jackson? We'll get to that and much, much more right now on Cincinnati Bengals Talk. Hi again, everyone, and welcome in to CBT. Today's video brought to you by Data Guru. Go to sportsdataguru.com and get half off your first month with promo code Bengals Talk. Today, the Bengals got great news, and that's why you got to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. You ring the bell so when videos come out like this one, you get notified and you can find out that Trey Hendrickson was practicing today. Yes, progressing nicely. Zach Taylor didn't want to say whether or not Trey Hendrickson was practicing, but Trey practicing today, went through individual drills, had his helmet on, looked good, and has made positive progress. So thumbs up for Trey Hendrickson. I think he's trending in the right direction. Zach also said Trey's a veteran. You don't need to see him practice for him to play on Sunday against the Ravens. So good news all around. Number 91, Scary in the fourth quarter of that win against Carolina, but it seems like not only is he trending in the right direction, but there's a real chance that he will be able to suit up on Sunday against the Baltimore Ravens, which is huge. Let's be honest. He is their pass rush. And I have defensive tackle updates in just a second. But before we do that, speaking of pass rush, Miles Murphy activated today. And I think that that's huge. Getting a guy like Miles Murphy back, you're talking about an elite athlete, young at 22 years old. I don't think he's – and he's practicing today, and it's his first practice since the Colts joint practice. That's when he got hurt. So I don't think that he's going to play a full allotment of snaps. And Zach Taylor didn't even say that Miles was going to play. I think Miles will play Sunday. That would be my prediction as of now. And I think he's going to make life easier on Sam Hubbard, make life easier on Cedric Johnson, make life easier on these other guys that – have tried to, to hold down the fort some, and, and that's huge because you're hoping that with Joseph Osai having a pretty solid game the other day against Carolina, that he can build off of that. With Trey Hendrickson healthy enough to practice today, that he can be out there and be effective. And then you have Miles Murphy as well. And so Sam Hubbard, who moved around and played inside some and played end some, and you need Sam Hubbard, by the way. I know people are down on him, and I get it. You need him to play well this week against a run-first team and the Baltimore Ravens, you can see the path here where the defensive end room feels much more solidified, much better, a little more juice with Miles Murphy. What about defensive tackle? The latest on B.J. Hill, Sheldon Rankins, McKinley Jackson, and more. But today's video is brought to you by Data Guru. Sportsdataguru.com is where you should go if you're looking to bet on the NFL this season because they have all of the information you need from weather reports, Win-loss splits, home road splits, all of the data you need to make the best educated investment wherever you're betting. And that's what's great about Data Guru is it's super affordable. You're talking about $24 for the season. $24, that's it. And you can get all of the insight that you need uh, to be able to make the opinions or the wagers or have all of the information necessary to win big when you wager on the NFL this season. So please, please, please check out sportsdataguru.com and use promo code BENGALSTALK. You will get 50% off your first month. Again, that's promo code BENGALSTALK at sportsdataguru.com. Let's get to defensive tackle where BJ Hill practicing today, a sight for sore eyes, and you're starting to see it. You're like, all right, well, Miles Murphy's practicing. B.J. Hill's practicing. Trey Hendrickson is practicing. And B.J. Hill was moving well. Zach Taylor's made it clear over the past few weeks that he's ahead of Sheldon Rankins. And I would say that today, just watching him go through individual drills, feels like he's on track to return this week and play against Baltimore. Meanwhile, Sheldon Rankins on the rehab field, getting work in there, not practicing, could – I would say be a week away. Wouldn't be shocked at all if he's available uh, for the Bengals. Week six matchup against the Giants. Would surprise me if he plays this week against the Ravens. McKinley Jackson also practicing, and he suffered a knee injury on August 8th. So that's way back. Hasn't had many padded practices. He's going to have to get into it. I, I think he's sort of the opposite of Miles Murphy, where Murphy, he's activated today, could be active and play on Sunday. I think that's realistic. McKinley Jackson is kind of the other way, 
where I think you activate him today, you, you have a 21-day window for him and Murphy to activate them. You have an open roster spot, which Murphy could slide into. Meanwhile, a guy like McKinley Jackson, give him a week or two, especially because you do have Lawrence Guy, because you did and were able to play Sam Hubbard on the inside last week, and you're getting B.J. Hill back. Chris Jenkins, obviously, probably going to get more snaps. Uh, obviously played well, had that big goal line stop at the start of that Carolina game. So you, you look at it, and you can see the path now. For this defensive line, the, the window is, is opening, or the door is opening for this defensive line to be whole again. And they've been making it work or trying to make it work. You might say they haven't been able to make it work. Well, this is the week to try to make it work, and we'll see if they can get it done. It's, uh, it's huge, though, to have B.J. Hill, have McKinley Jackson out there working, but have B.J. Hill at practice, have Trey Hendrickson practicing, and have Miles Murphy practicing. Would not shock me if all three of those guys, Hendrickson, Murphy, and Hill, play on Sunday against the Baltimore Ravens. For more, make sure you check out BengalsTalk.com. It's a Sports Illustrated site, and check out SportsDataGuru.com. Please support our sponsors. It's huge for Andrew and myself. It's huge for the channel as we continue to build Cincinnati Bengals Talk. For Andrew Fox Miller, I'm James Erpine. Make sure you check out Enter the Jungle and all of our videos this week ahead of an AFC North showdown against the Ravens. Until next time, I'm James Erpine signing off from Paycor Stadium.